I was born in Perpignan. Uh, it's a small city, and then I I, I went to Font Romeu, close to Font Romeu, when I was six. My father wanted to become a guide, so that's why we we moved there. And um, and then it was only uh, full of nature and beautiful landscape and. Uh, I didn't know that from Perpignan, even if it was uh, quite close, but it was a, yeah, a new approach of, the, of life, uh, more relaxed. Uh, and uh, I think when you are a child and when you have so much space to, to play, it's, uh, it's important and, and, and fun. When I started sport, it was really just to have fun with friends and enjoy, enjoy time together, I think. But then, uh, then the uh, spirit of competition came later, I think I would say around 13 years old. I think it's when the competition started to take my mind. So were those first competitions in cross country or were they in football or athletics or cycling? No, it was, uh, it was in cross country. I think I started cross country with school uh, and I was doing ice hockey in the same time. So it was, uh, yeah. I did both, but uh, I was more concentrated on ice hockey than on cross country. And uh, we start with small competition with the school. And then uh, my parents bring me more and more in, uh, in, in cross country because uh, they like uh, outside sport and they were not so happy to uh, stay behind me in a, I don't know, in a rink, all right? Yeah. So, uh, so that's, that's why I came a bit more and more on cross country. At what age did you move here to Villa de Lange? I moved when I was 16. Uh, I moved here because uh, it was uh, here. There is a, a big sports school and uh, it's, uh, it's perfect to train. In fact, you just uh, are in a school uh, from September to November and then uh, you, you are totally free during the winter season and then you start school again from April till uh, end of June. So it was perfect to, uh, to train and, and to, to progress in sports. Can you tell us about your first World Junior Championships? What were those feelings? Were you scared or was it exciting? I was scared for sure. It was my first international competition. I just did uh, two or three European Cup uh, before in junior. It was in Rednown. I remember that my parents came and they didn't uh, tell to me that they came in Italy. So uh, it was a really big surprise. In fact, I, I saw it, just a little story. I saw uh, I was skiing for my training and I came back from training with my ski, my rifle in my back and walked to the wax cabin. And I, I crossed this little man with a blue and orange uh, ski suite. And uh, in my mind, it, it, uh, it was like, uh, oh, this boy looked like my brother. And uh, I was really impressed because he really looked like, but he had his hat, his glasses. And then just after I saw my parents and I was totally lost. I didn't know what happened because they didn't say at all to me. And in fact, the little man I just crossed was uh, the little boy I just crossed was, uh, was Martin. <laughs> and I didn't know they were there. <laughs> did you think you could be a champion before you won your first World Junior Championship? Or did it take more time to really become a champion? I knew that I wanted to become a champion. This I remember. We had kind of a French championships, club French championship. We did the qualification with my regional team. And I was the only one who stayed at home because for me it was just fun and I, I had no spirit competition at all. And I stayed alone at home during one week when my friends were in, in the Alps to, uh, to do some cross-country races and, and enjoy together. And from this moment I, I start to, uh, to think, okay, uh, sport is not just only for fun, it's just not to be with friends. I, I want to move also, I want to go in the Alps and then uh, I, I wanted to go more. Martin is four years younger than you. So when he first started, was it like this little kid wanted to come with me and I really didn't want him? Or did you say, oh, come on? Uh, I don't know. I think Martin followed me because I did, uh, I did biathlon. But uh, he, didn't, he, uh, he didn't need uh, me to, uh, he didn't need his uh, big brother to, to follow. He had his own way. 
Martin has a, has a really uh, big uh, uh, spirit of competition since he's young. When he lost a race, when he was uh, six, seven, he, he cried at the end uh, all the time. He, he didn't uh, accept to, to lost something, never. Me, it came, this spirit came, but really later than him. Him, it was from the, from the beginning. So you started biathlon before him? Yeah. Did he ever come in and look at your rifle and say, can I do that? Uh, I don't know. I think uh, he took my rifle uh, without my authorization. <laughs> <laughs> I remember my first World Cup in Oslo. Uh, I was qualified after my good uh, World Championships in Junior in Besson. I did a pretty good race, I think. Uh, only one mistake and uh, I felt good in ski, I had a really big motivation to be there. And when I saw the result, I was uh, 59, I think. <laughs> I, I was just okay for the pursuit. So I came back in my room and I remember I was, uh, I worked with a physio who was with me and there, and uh, he's still my physio. And sometimes he, he's, he talked to me about it and he, he, he said to me, I remember this time when you, you were in, in the room and and, and said to me, I will never arrive to do something. I did one amazing race today and I'm only 59. And the, the, directly the, the day after, it was a pursuit and I came back from 59th to, uh, to 25. So this, um, I, I was pretty proud of it. And it started, my mind tried to um, yeah, start to change and uh, I realized that it could be possible. So what has been the hardest thing about biathlon and what's the easiest thing? The best thing is uh, just look around me. It's a perfect place and each day you, uh, you can enjoy it and do what you want, really what you love. So yeah, this is the best thing and the worst thing is the same. It's that you sometimes here it's not so perfect like today. There is raining, there is a wind, it's cold and uh, you also have to train and wake up and come here to, to train. So I think it's both, yeah, it can be the best in one way and the worst in another way. I think injuries help me to, uh, to see the life difference and just think that uh, you have to live day by day and see what happened. Uh, for my first in injury, I was uh, pretty, how to say, um, down, yeah, depressed. I said that it would be hard to come back and everything. And uh, finally, I, I saw the, with the time during my uh, re-education, I, uh, I don't know, I, I try to think different and just say me, okay, just uh, try to uh, leave this moment as best as you can and then try to come back. But I, I had no goals, no, no, not really a goal to say me, yeah, at this time you have to come back because this is the best way to be disappointed. So, uh, um, I don't know, I think I live day by day and try to enjoy the best as I can. Then, uh, this was last year, not this year. This year, everything was perfect and I, it didn't work as I wanted. Uh, I did some mistakes in my training last year. I think I, I will uh, correct all these things, uh, this one to be, to be stronger this season. You've had over 250 World Cup starts. Well, you, you learned me something today. <laughs> Three Olympic Winter Games, seven World Championships. Mm. Is that a bit surprising? Did you ever expect to still be here? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. When I, when I start biathlon, I, I always uh, rem yeah, I remember I always uh, told me that I wanted to have a really long career. Uh, Today my mind changed a bit uh, because uh, before I wanted to, to continue until 40, 45. But when you wake up each day, each day, each day, sometimes you, you start to see the, the, the training and, uh, and the sport a bit different. So of course I'm, uh, I'm really happy and I really love what, I want, what I'm doing. But there is so much things to do in life also. And I think uh, I want to continue for five years and then maybe move to something else. So what will you be doing in six years? Uh, I don't know, I have many ideas, but I prefer to, to keep it with me for now. <laughs> in sports, for sure. Yeah, one goal I still haven't reached in biathlon, uh, 
I don't know. If I, I think everyone knows that, but a victory, a victory is, is what I is what I reach the most. Uh, I am. I mean, I feel I need that to be totally free and uh, yeah. Uh, let my mind, let my body just do what he want to do. I'm a bit uh, frustrated uh, about this victory still, and I I feel I need that to yeah to to be complete. Yeah, to be complete. Yeah. Mm. What are your three favorite things in life? In life? Yeah. I, sport uh, is one of my favorite things, biathlon especially. Uh, my family, my brother, and uh, yeah, and my friends. I think. Finish this sentence for me. Simon Fricard is me. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. <laughs>